So this is my garden. Finally getting around to doing a video. Uh, brand new this year. Uh, planted Memorial Day weekend. You know, raised beds were made two to three weeks before that. Uh, and today is July 10th. And uh, everything's doing real good. These are my potato buckets. Uh, I saw some YouTube videos. I uh, got the idea to plant potatoes this way this year just as an experiment and uh, things seem to be going pretty good. Um, I started them really shallow. Um, this one I had intended to keep adding soil right to the top but uh, I stopped at the same level that I stopped in this bucket. Obviously different levels. Um, mainly because I didn't really have any more good soil to put in there and um, I just got lazy I think so but uh, the potato plants are doing excellent this is one of the three by three or three and a half by three and a half I guess raised beds in this bed I have a zucchini plant two pumpkin plants and three tomato plants get the shadow out of there um, I have these tomato plants uh, went in later than my other ones and um, I have been pruning them and I am staking these I'm not going to use cages on these uh, this is uh, I guess the first 4x8 raised bed with the majority of the tomato plants that went in in uh, Memorial Day um, I got from uh, a friend Mr. Athanas uh, except for the one cherry tomato plant in the corner with the steak uh, that I purchased uh, like I said the rest were all done inside and transplanted Memorial Day uh, they were pretty much out of control I trimmed them all down recently. Um, I've got some tomatoes on a lot of plants. Um, you can probably maybe see some in there. And uh, it's hard for me to see with the glare. But I've also got a lot of bl blooms. Um, so yeah, those are my tomato plants. Uh, okay, this is the other end of the that uh, 4x8 raised bed, um, and this is the cucumber end. Um, bought this trellis at Home Depot, I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, the cucumbers started off really slow. Um, they were purchased plants that I transplanted, uh, but they have uh, since taken off quite well and are uh, doing exactly what I wanted them to do, is crawling up this trellis. And we do have flowers uh, coming in. All through there. Which is very nice. And the other corner of that same 4x8. Um, this is uh, bush beans. And next to it is uh, romaine lettuce. Um, there's a big bald patch there on the other side which was a bunch of lettuce that I uh, just yanked up um, it was uh, spring lettuce and I just pulled it up by the roots so that uh, I have more romaine and uh, crisp head lettuce that I'm gonna plant for the fall harvesting and I'm gonna plant in there and this is raised bed uh, number two four by eight this end is uh, pepper plants that, uh, again, Mr. Thanis gave me. Uh, there's one eggplant in there, right in, in the back there. And uh, there's one hot pepper plant in there. I don't know which one it is. Um, pepper plants haven't been doing great. I do see some peppers starting to form. Um, but, it, you know, the cooler nights, I guess they would prefer warmer soil, so they haven't been doing real good. 
Also, I think that um, the placement of the uh, pole beans right behind them on this trellis um, might be um, taking some of their sunlight away. Uh, so next year I'll have to do some changing around. But uh, the pole beans are doing excellent on this homemade trellis that I made. And they're climbing up it nicely. This is the other side of the trellis uh, where the pole beans are. And um, I have cu uh, I'm sorry, zucchini and summer squash in here. That's what you see here. They're doing really nice. Uh, those were plants given to me by Mr. Athanas. Uh, no, they weren't. I purchased those. I purchased those as well as the, the pole beans. Um, the broccoli here was given to me by Mr. Athanas. And the broccoli started off... Oh, I'm seeing some crowns, finally. So, finally. It's been much cooler nights. I thought uh, the hot weather might have made it so that uh, I wasn't going to see any broccoli crowns. But if you look right in there, I see one. That's my real first one that I'm seeing. Oh, I see another one in there. So that's nice. My broccoli, actually, uh, the weather prediction is uh, warm days in the 80s and cool nights in the 50s and 60s. So, um, and I've been watering it, trying to keep the, uh, the soil cooler. Um, and hopefully the broccoli, I'll, I'll be able to get some good broccoli out of this. This is my uh, fruit berry raised bed. I have uh, strawberry plants down in there. Um, if you look right down in there, I do have some strawberry flowers and some straw, some berries, small berries on there. Um, I, this is my blueberry plant. There were blueberries on it. Um, Shirley and I did eat one ripe blueberry each, and then I came out the next day, and any berries that were on the plant were gone. So something is out here eating my berries. And next to it is my raspberry bush, which um, which does have berries at the top, and you know they're not uh, ripe, but it's forming berries. So uh, I need to get uh, something to enclose this particular bed, especially to keep the critters out from eating my my berries, and then uh, I would like to. Uh, the plan is to fence in this entire garden to keep the deer out. All in all, not a bad looking garden. Uh, I'm very happy with my, my results so far this year. I mean, nothing is perfect, but I've done it all myself. Um, and, uh, you know, it's very satisfying. I enjoy it. Uh, that's just my compost bin that I made from uh, some reclaimed lumber, some uh, pallets that I got. I picked up 13, 15 pallets for free. Um, the 3x3 three three beds that you saw in my garden uh, were as, as wood that I got from pallets. Um, and then I made this entire compost bin uh, with these pallets. And it's pretty simple. I just... Uh, I put some hinges on it and uh, it's got nice organic compost uh, that I made. Um, right now I'm just piling up you know all my stuff my lawn trimmings and things next to the pile here uh, and I will start my next batch for the to compost over the winter in here when I get my leaves. Okay, uh, and last but not least, this is the rain barrel system that I put together uh, this spring, early summer. Uh, two 55-gallon drums that I purchased uh, for $30, 15 each. Uh, a bunch of PVC, which I purchased, and I can't really tell you how much I spent. It wasn't that expensive. Uh, my design by, you know, I got ideas from YouTube, watched several videos. Um, so it's pretty cool. It comes from my downspout up there. Comes down into a first flush system. 
which is uh, goes into a three inch PVC which has got a drain at the bottom which I can drain there's a bottle a water bottle inside there that floats to the top once it gets to the top the clean water diverts to the diverter and down into my rain barrels and I have clean rainwater um, I do have screen I've got a paint screen and a household window screen in the bottom of a pot a planting pot in the hole in the top of the barrel um, and then I do have an overflow on the second barrel that comes down into a ball valve that I'm going to uh, the ball valve was the original ball valve that I put on this the three-quarter PVC that you see in the manifold system um, but it was horrible and it didn't close all the way and it always leaked so I broke it purposely put it on the overflow and then I have a, a hose connector on the end and I'm just gonna put a flexible hose that I, a piece of hose that I don't use anymore and then run it away from the house uh, so that'll be my overflow and then the manifold is all three quarter inch PVC um, with a nice ball valve and as soon as I put that ball valve system on it instead of the other one uh, the pressure out of there was amazing it changed the pressure I mean I can show you right here I should probably do it from the other side I mean it just comes right out of there man so that's awesome So, uh, my rain barrel system. And now I'm going to show you Shirley's perennial gardens that we put in the front of the house. Uh, she did a lot of work on it. I did help her a little bit, but she did most of it. Uh, beautiful perennials. Collected all the stones from around the property. Left side of the house, front door. This is the right side of the house. She's got a lot of stuff blooming in here. And then you come around and the side of the house, which is just now getting into the sun. And if you can see it right there, that's the lilac little plant transplanted when we moved into the house I believe we transplanted that the first couple of weeks we were here and it survived its first winter and it's looking beautiful and there's Tippy in my bedroom window saying hi and out there is the lilac bush really hard to see but there's the lilac bush that Shirley planted and in the front yard she's got this beautiful round garden getting the And over here by my rain barrels uh, she has this other beautiful round garden that if you can see in the middle she planted this beautiful rose bush and then all these excellent annuals around it it's just gorgeous and I don't know how good you can see with the shade and the glare but uh it's the front of the house. It's a beautiful sunny morning.